Thank you for joining us in, for today's devotional. There's been a reading my entire life that has been very special to me. It came from a 1926 sermon by Dr. James Allen Francis, and it goes like this. Here is a man who was born in an obscure village, the child of a peasant woman. He grew up in another village. He worked in a carpenter shop until he was 30. Then for three years, he was an itinerant preacher. He never owned a home. He never wrote a book. He never held an office. He never had a family. He never went to college. He never put his foot inside a big city. He never traveled 200 miles from the place where he was born. He never did one of the things that usually accompany greatness. He had no credentials but himself. While still a young man, the tide of popular opinion turned against him. His friends ran away. One of them even denied him. He was turned over to his enemies. He went through the mockery of a trial. He was nailed upon a cross between two thieves. While he was dying, his executioners gambled for his only piece of property that he had on earth, his coat. When he was dead, he was laid in a borrowed grave through the pity of a friend. Nineteen centuries have long come and gone, and today he is a centerpiece of the human race and leader of the column of progress. I am far within the mark when I say that all the armies that have ever marched, all the navies that have ever sailed, all the parliaments that ever sat, and all the kings that ever reigned, put together, have not affected the life of man upon this earth as powerfully as has that one solitary life. There are some who only know his name as just another name. There are many who think that there's no difference, that he is just the same as all other sages, prophets who've walked down through his story. That he died as any ordinary man upon that tree. For they've never met my Jesus, they have never seen his face. They know nothing of his boundless love or of his saving grace. They have never knelt beneath the stream that flows from Calvary. They know only what is said of him, he's only his story. His name is Jesus, yes, he is the one. His name is Jesus, God's only Son. His name is Jesus. has been different, for he gave me a new start. I confessed my sins, believed in him, and opened up my heart. Then the cleansing, healing, saving blood he offered in my place. He raised those sins forever, the wonder of that grace. And in him I find the power Overcoming power to win the temptation's darkest hour, victory over every sin. For he gave to me the right to use the name that set me free. And before that blessed holy name, the host of hell must flee. His name is Jesus. 
Oh. Uh-huh.